To politics now, introspection and reflection have begun in the People's National Party, including the continued tenure of the party president, Dr. Peter Phillips. Now, this evening, people have gathered at the PNP headquarters on Old Hope Road in St. Andrew in support of the party leader. Our reporter, Andrea Chisholm, is there and joins us live. Andrea? Thank you very much, guys. Well, I'm here at the headquarters of the People's National Party on Old Hope Road, where scores of supporters have been gathered. If you look behind me, I'll just step out of the frame for a minute. You'll see a number of them with placards. The placards are saying, Peter, you are solid as a rock. Forward together, there is no vacancy. Peter, you are solid. One leader, he or she who is without sin, cast the first stone. And the leader is as strong as his team. Now, you should all know that since the by-election on Thursday, there have been calls or some persons have been speculating that since the People's National Party has lost two by-election, it is time for the leadership of the PNP, that is Dr. Peter Phillips, to step down. However, some persons do not agree with that view. I'm going to be joined now by Mr. Thwaites, Ronald Thwaites, who is a member of the executive. Mr. Thwaites, could you just come this way for me, please? Good evening, sir. Hello. Uh, first of all, what's the mood of this evening's NEC meeting? It's the first meeting since the massive defeat at the Portland Eastern by-elections? The, the mood is very optimistic and very, very sober. Mm -hmm. The analysis is very uh, trenchant mm -hmm. and it is pointing out the divisions that existed in the constituents in the PNP ranks before. That the fact that um, Mrs. Anne-Marie Vaz uh, has been in the constituency certainly before the government changed and that in the circumstances uh, Damien Crawford did as well as could be expected. There is no desperation, there is disappointment, but the mood is a way of, of finding a way of moving forward, consolidating the voters that came out, and also, which should be a concern for everybody, dealing with the fact that over 14,000 registered voters never bothered to come out. And that's a national problem which has to affect the entire political culture. That's what we should be talking about. Any talks about the leadership of the PNP, will Dr. Peter Phillips be asked to step down or will he be staying on? No, he's not going to be asked to step down. Dr. Peter Phillips did the very best he could in the circumstances and he has the confidence of the majority of the members of the executive and I believe all the delegates and members of the party as well. Are people lining up beside, behind different persons in the party in anticipation of any movements? For example, is there a bunting camp versus a Dr. Peter Phillips camp at this point? I don't know of it. Uh, certainly, everybody is mortal and temporary, you know, even those who think they are invincible in victory. And therefore, you're always looking forward. You always have an eye for succession. Any sensible office holder will do that. But right now, Peter Phillips is our leader, and we are happy to affirm him as such. What about the General Secretary, Julian Robinson? He gave a most uh, a complete, mature report of the Secretariat's, Secretariat's activity in that constituency over the past three or four years. And his report was well accepted. There are many, many uh, criticisms and changes that will have to flow from them. The PNP is an open party and we don't victimize each other and I'm hoping that his recommendations will be fully considered. There was a scathing, uh, should I say, letter from former General Secretary Paul Burke. I don't know if you had a chance to peruse that, did you? Yes, I did. Okay, what have, what have been some of your thoughts on that? Some of the, the, the uh, issues that he raises about organizational deficiencies should be well taken. The timing and the other elements of the letter are, are unfortunate. Thank you very much, Mr. Thwaites, and we'll keep monitoring what's happening out of the PNP camp following this defeat in the by-elections. Thanks very much. And for now, it's back to you guys in studio. PNP.